Hey, this is Mikey with another After Effects video, and today I'm not doing a full tutorial, but hopefully you'll forgive me because I'm giving away a free preset, and it's a really cool one. It's called Wobbly. And what it does is it makes these wobbly kind of movements. And it's not just the decay and the bounce, but as you can see, right here, look how the whole thing bends and moves. Like it's made of rubber. So that's wobbly. And it's a free preset, works for After Effects CS6 and above. Let me show you how it works, and I want to show you one quick tip of how it was put together. It's a something you can do with expressions called position.velocity or position.speed. Uh, they work differently. And let me first show you what that is, and then we'll show you the preset. So let's grab a new composition. Just put on a new background. Blue is fine. So I'm going to create just a text layer so we can see what this expression is. Doesn't ha matter what it says because we're going to go into down here into the source text and we're going to add an expression. So in source text put position dot speed. And I also like to round this down so it's an easier number because it'll just have dot whatever so many different decimal uh, numbers after the decimal point. So math dot floor and then put position.speed in the parentheses. So what we have down here. And right now it's set to zero because the speed of this layer is zero. But if we add a keyframe and then move it, well, we now have a speed value. But you can see it's constant because this is a constant velocity or constant speed. So we come in here to the keyframe assistant add some easy ease and then you'll see that the number is going to be changing. So that is the speed. Now if we do velocity, it's going to give the x and the y value up and down, left and right, and it's going to be negative numbers if it's going to the left, positive numbers it's going to the right, and so that way you can do a lot more with it. Speed is just how fast you're going, velocity is how fast you're going and in which direction. So let's come back to my wobbly. I What I did is I used some different distorts, the CC bender, in order to have the speed and the velocity drive the distortion based on how fast it is. And it's really easy to set up. So let's go ahead and bring in something like a star. Let's do a star. I'm just doing a star shape. And I found this works best with shapes instead of with masks on solid layers. So if you want something like a shape, do it on a shape layer. Find my preset wobbly, drag it and drop it on, and you'll notice there's no change until I come in here and let's keyframe the position. And that's kind of a slow movement, but you can see Let's speed it up. So I'm going to bring those keyframes together closer. Right there. That's pretty cool. So that's left, and then we can also have it go up. Let's make those closer together. And even diagonals is still going to distort it. Now that's a little bit funny there, so. Okay. There it is, that looks pretty cool. I can add motion blur to it and it's gonna work just as well. So that's wobbly. And as you see again in this intro, works on text layers as well. These are all individual layers that I've pre-comped together. So very, very simple to use. Um, have fun with it. I want to see what you make with this. So if you make a, some cool different titles or effects, please feel free to just post those in the comments below. Enjoy the free preset. There's a link in the description where you can go and download this for free. Now it is a name your own price. So if you feel like this is useful to you, and uh, you want to donate some money, I would not say no. So thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.